Cameron, what's yeah. what's the plan here? What are we doing? I'll be honest, I'm not even 100 percent sure. For one, number one, to get my butt kicked, yes, and show how easy that will be, uh -huh. and hopefully learn some defense moves, defensive. Yeah. So we've been wanting to do. Let's see, where am I? We've been wanting to do a video for a while about you know prepper self-defense, some techniques for preppers. Cause you gotta know how to defend yourself. And we've got a good friend, actually my brother-in-law, he's been on the podcast before, way back in the day on the self-defense episode. And he's gonna show us uh, some five really simple techniques that everybody can use to make sure they don't get their ass kicked. Right, Cameron? Yeah. To start this off. an arm, <laughs> yeah. poke an eye out. To start this off, we thought it would be kinda cool. You know, Cam's a fit dude, he's, he's strong, he's tough. Um, what is it like? To think know? I can hold my own. Yeah. I feel like I can do decent uh -huh. against, you know, yeah. anybody really. The thing is, but I doubt it. you just don't know who you're getting into yeah. a tussle with on the street. So, well, and this tussle is going to be with somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah, this guy, this, uh, we'll, we'll talk to Chris here in a little bit, but uh, he's got some experience um, in jujitsu and boxing and in, in a lot of different things, MMA. So, Kobe's been rolling with him for a while. Yeah, so. he kicks my butt three days a week. So, we're going to see if he can kick Cam's butt, uh, and we're pretty excited about that. Zero so. training. Zero. Yeah. Street so. skill. So, Dairy uh, farmer skill. <laughs> Milk. Cow milking fighting skills. I can lift a newborn calf. That's I'm right. Sure I can flip anybody. That's right. So we're off to figure it out. All right. Well, what's going on, Cameron? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> this is why you don't drive other people's vehicles because you don't realize how fast you're going. Got pulled over. No good. The ram's too fast. The ram's too fast. It's got way too much power. Too much ram. There it is. Oh. All right, well, we got a ticket, so that was fun on the yeah, way to the gym. Really stupid. That's always a good time. Um, so now we're gonna go do the thing. Now that Cam's good and pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a that pisses you off. Disheartening. It? it was. <laughs> Took my life from. We've been stretching all day. <laughs> Cam, how are you feeling at this point about I don't even on? know what to expect. It's either going to be seconds uh -huh. that I'm in trouble yeah. or milliseconds. Milliseconds, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so we've talked about doing self-defense stuff. And, like, I, I don't have any training, but I feel like... I, I'm, you know, I'm younger. Yeah, you, kind of. I can maybe hold my own. I got a low center of gravity, short legs. <laughs> you do. I ain't gonna get knocked down. Yeah, but you so, only got the one eye. So you never know um, yeah. if you encounter somebody that's, mm -hmm. you know, aggressive or you want to be the aggressor. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna come up against. You don't. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, is, uh, we're gonna come up against that right there. This this sexy beast over there. With look at that. Jeez. How does it get any better than that? What should he do? Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Can you do that? Yeah. Do you know how to tap? I just hit yeah, floor. Just tap. If it starts to hurt, or you what if scared, I can't tap because my arms then are bad? Yell, yell, tap. Yell, stop. Yell, right. I'm scared. Whatever you got to do, just <laughs> yell something to make it stop. Okay. Okay. So what, are, what are we gonna do? Three minutes and just see how it goes. What do you want to do? Let's go five. Let's go five. Okay. Five. I'm excited. My endurance is like 20 yeah. seconds. Okay. You're gonna have to take the shoes off. Zombie land. Yeah, What's the number yeah. one rule? Cardio. Cardio. cardio, cardio, cardio. Yeah, you might want to get out there and stretch. Yeah, I stretch okay. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you stretch a little bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's tight on you, Cam? What feels tight? Nothing. I don't Nothing. Have any Everything's tight loose parts and anymore. ready to roll. All muscles are just flabby now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tap before we start? I'm not gonna hurt him. Okay. I, don't know, I hope not. No, he's not gonna hurt you. I have kids to feed. You're doing this for all the people out there. I am. And they're, they're I'm gonna sacrificing really appreciate it. my body. All the listeners are going to be super proud of you. Either way, yeah. it doesn't matter which way it goes. I'm, right? I'm, I'm dead. No, you're not. You're fine. <laughs> you're going to be good. We're, we're excited about this. We could let Cam start on top. Yeah. We could let, okay. Cam can start in mount. Let's let you start on top. Let's have... That gives you even Whatever, an yeah. advantage. We'll have, yeah, we'll have Cam start in mount. But I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Like, what, what, what is it? No punching, Cam, no striking. You're trying to... Get me, get control yeah. the situation lives. until help arrives. Okay. Uh, yeah. and, That's and what we're gonna learn and tonight. Defend yourself. George Strait, that really pumped me up. <laughs> you want music? <laughs> no, no music. I was just kidding. No, I was just kidding. It's like the soundtrack to your demise. We don't need it. <laughs> I want you to hear Angina. 
coronary artery. Something disease. China will hear probably. <laughs> yeah, we also got Dave over there too. Say hi, Dave. There he is. Remember, he only has one good eye, so don't he doesn't see it left. coming. What, what's don't. wrong with your eye? None of your business. <laughs> Where's your hook hand? <laughs> there we go. Maybe we got to teach you what mount is no, real quick. No, I don't. So mount is. I'm on top of you. I've taken away your legs, and I've got gravity working for me, and I'm in a good position to beat you up and to hurt you, and you're not in a great position to be able to, to hurt me or do anything damaging to me, essentially. If Dave wants to try and punch me from here, it's pretty easy for me to stop it from happening, right? And restrain him. Okay. So we're gonna let you start there. Okay. I mean, if you could subdue me, choke me, you know, or, or restrain an arm to where I have to ask you to stop, that would be good as well, that would help. Stop me from moving until help arrived. If we're in a real life situation, okay. Obviously, if, if we were striking, you would want to knock me unconscious. Yeah, no striking tonight. But, no, no, no. Please don't hit anybody. I didn't, didn't look at anything online. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. That's at the all, point. Obviously, but I'm just point. saying. <laughs> yeah. So everybody knows. I'm, I, can, I have. I'm gonna edit this so you look awesome. Okay. <laughs> I already right. feel off. <laughs> it feels good to me. Hey, Larry, I want you to feel as comfortable as you can. Okay. 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 Go ahead, Ash. Keep him down, Cameron. Keep him down. Remember to tap. Remember to tap. Oh, yeah, I would tap on that. <laughs> Go again. Awesome. What do you want? I don't know. Tell him to stop. Say, hey, chill, bro. There you go. There you go. That was two minutes. I was like, I'm already immediately completely out of breath. Oh. You ready? Say, like, Chris, no more fighting. Don't <laughs> stop. I don't know why this makes me happy, but it does. <laughs> Something about it. Oh, I'm real lazy. I'm not in shape at all. You're doing good. You're doing good. A few more minutes. You can make it. Two more minutes. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> Just stay alive. One more chance. Stay alive. One more minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just keep tapping. I think that's a tap. Oh. Alright, how you feeling? I'm like so wiped out. Like all the strength that I had. Gone. In that first minute is gone. Oh. I don't think he's even breathing hard. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. 
if you pass out, what do we do? Because I don't know. <laughs> you ready? You got the I'm minute. not. You got a minute 24. Okay. You can do it. Minute 24. <laughs> okay. I think that means he's tapping. Yes. Make sure to tap. 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 Oh, crap. Man, you can snap an arm right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I'm like. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. This is your chance. This is your Rudy moment. This is it. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. Gosh. You about hit it. <laughs> Obviously that move puts me into things. I'm out of trouble. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. I oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I think that's probably good. You got 15 Man. seconds left. Oh yeah. Alright. To have a stroke? <laughs> oh. Well, was that He's a... like not even Yeah. breathing. I know. Well He's a machine. That's <laughs> I'm gonna sleep right here, go away. <laughs> that definitely makes me way more motivated. Isn't that insane? Stuff. Is that not insane? Like, you feel like you could hold your yeah, own. Yeah, I feel like strength, and then once that's gone. Yeah. Mm. What are you weighing? 170. What do you weigh? 145. 145. Oh, see? It's insane, dude. You're just like. Yeah. I had no strength against him at all. So now, now we're gonna let. Chris, show us a few pointers. Yeah. So maybe maybe we could get like five simple techniques, something like that. That like any. I need well. Five hours to rest. <laughs> do you want you want to do it next week? Is that what you're saying? Or Once you, you're rested you up. Do. You <laughs> you we're gonna do it with you. We're gonna do it with you, buddy. Come on. Yeah, no, you're yeah you're gonna you're gonna do it. Yeah. I, he kicks my ass like three times a week. I know what it's like. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, once we get him, um, maybe a lemonade and some smelling salts then we can kind of get rolling with that how's the water is that helping no it's not helping how's everything wrong i taste blood <laughs> so we're gonna get started um where's the best what's tip number one where do we start okay let's start from standing because that's where most altercations will yeah, start sure um i'm here maybe dave and i are having words a thing to remember is that the second i show dave that i want to have a fight mm -hmm. he's gonna oblige me more than likely so if i put myself in a stance getting ready to fight, Dave's gonna recognize that and he's gonna do the same thing and he's gonna say, all right, it's on, it's time to fight. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I'm here, I'm calm, I'm relaxed. Um, it's a big reason, one of the reasons we stand like, like Alio does before and after class. I'm in a calm, relaxed, non-threatening position. Dave's talking to me, having words with me. We're at a safe distance where he can't hit me, I can't hit him. The second Dave gets close enough to me to where he can't hit me, my hands go up protect myself. I'm not getting in a fight stance. I'm not getting ready for fight. I'm just saying, hey, whoa, that's close enough. My hands are up where they can protect me. I can see punches coming. Mm -hmm. I can take a step back. Or if I see Dave enter a fighting stance right away, I, my hands are up and I can get in and close the distance. So. Yeah, because um, number one thing, we just don't want to fight, yeah, right? Exactly. We don't have to. Yeah. You never know who or what <laughs> yeah. you're getting in a situation with, right, Ken? Yes. The one thing a lot of people I don't think realize is no matter how well trained you are, how tough you are, if you get in a fight, you're gonna get hit. And it only takes one shot sometimes. So it's better not to fight mm -hmm. if, if you can be avoided. A lot of times, fights happen in public situations and then you get people's egos on the line, people's pride, friends, people egging the situation on because they're not the ones gonna be punched in the face, <laughs> put in the hospital, seriously injured. Mm -hmm. So. Everything you can do to defuse the situation is probably what you want to do. First situation, Dave tries to punch me, strike me. Yeah. And uh, how we're going to deal with that situation. So I'm here. Cam, come over and watch this. Come over here on this uh, side. In a, in, a, in a situation where Dave's turn, he's in a fight stance. I know he wants to punch me. I'm going to be calm. My hands are up. And I'm going to look for him to, for him to strike me. Most people don't know how to throw a proper punch. He's not going to be a boxer. He's not going to be throwing straight punches. You know, most people, when they go to punch you, it's going to be a big crazy haymaker so let's prepare for that situation there's different techniques for different strikes but in most cases it's going to be somebody that 
doesn't know how to punch eff effectively or, hopefully. or technically, yes. Again, hopefully, that's mm. why step one, diffuse the situation. Mm. Don't get in the situation. So <laughs> Dave goes to throw a haymaker. I'm gonna block the punch by raising my elbow up high. I like to put my fingers on the back of my neck and my palm on my ear, so I'm protecting my whole head. Um, next step is I wanna get my head to his chest as quick as I can, because if I don't, more than likely Dave's gonna throw another punch right behind that one and that one's gonna hit me. It's not gonna feel good. It's not gonna feel good. So Dave throws a punch, I block it, I get my elbow up high, my fingers are on my neck, palm on my hands on my ear, and I'm gonna get my chest to Dave's shoulder as quick as I can, stepping in. That way if he goes to punch me with this hand, I'm too close for him to do anything effective. In that same time, I've stepped around to a position that we call jujitsu T position. Um, it's called T position because our feet make a T, the two lines of a T. And, and while I brought my head in, I caught his arm here. So I'm controlling his arm on his tricep and right at the elbow joint. And then I'm pinning his wrist under my bicep and in my armpit. That way he can't take his arm back and start punching me. So it, Does this all work if you only have one good eye? We'll find yeah, out. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. So I'm here and now I'm just waiting. I've got Dave tight to me. I've got my hips and his hips tight. I'm using my head to off balance him so he's not in a good strong position. I'm trying to put his weight on one foot, keeping him off balance. That way if he goes to punch me again with this hand, he can't and he reaches to punch me with that hand, I can come around and take his back. So from here, I've got total control of him. A big thing to remember is that Dave still has one free arm, so I wanna put my head and hide it on this side of his back. That way if he tries to elbow me with this arm, he can't. And all I'm, all I'm gonna do from here now is walk Dave backwards. I can set Dave down, I can pull him back from his neck, if it's somebody really crazy, I can grab him by the throat, walk him back, and I'm gonna set him down on the side of the arm I control. I'm gonna go knee on stomach, pressuring him and keeping him there. That way, if there's additional people, his friends, I can survey the situation and control the situation. And I don't have to hurt Dave. Um, I can say, hey, we don't wanna do this. Let's, so that, let's calm down. It's not worth it. If, if it. if it's escalated beyond that, I'm in a good position to where I can hit Dave, I can strike Dave, and he can't. Nice. All right, so that's what, we got two, two down, two techniques down, yeah. pretty much there. So, um, do we wanna do a takedown? Yeah, let's do a takedown. Takedown would be take good, down. yeah. Let's do the simplest one from T position. So I'm here in T position and I want to get the fight to the ground because and he's not punching me with his arm. We're, we're here in T position, he's not punching me. He's maybe just grabbing hold of my head and holding on, which is a common thing, you know. Um, people wrap their hands around your head and they just want to squeeze. So from here, I can hook Dave's leg and set him down to the ground. From here, I can keep control of the arm that I had and I slide myself into mount. From mount, I'm in a good position to where I can control Dave. He can't hurt me. Nice. He can't punch me. So as far as uh, positioning goes in some sort of a self-defense situation, what are kind of like your two best positions that you want to try and get to? So ideally, if uh, the best position B would be in mount or on Dave's back. In mount, he can still try and strike me from here. Mm -hmm. If I'm on his back, he virtually has no, no way to hurt me. So. Um, ideally, I'd be on his back. Second best position would be here in mount. So, um, in a street fight, self-defense situation, this actually might even be better because I'm on top of Dave. I can see other things happen around me. Whereas if I'm on his back and I'm on the ground, I've got a, his body weight on top of me. I've got gravity working against me. So, self-defense, this might even be better. And even above that is if I'm, again, out in public, multiple people, I'm probably mm -hmm. gonna come to neon belly because now I can get up, I can get away from the situation if more people come. So let's just do a, a mount escape and you know, kind of punch defense. This is kind of, what is it? Uh, shit hit the fan situation? Yes. What do, you, what do you preppers call it? Yeah, SHTF scenario. <laughs> SHTF scenario, worst case scenario. Dave's on top of me. He can strike me, punch me, do whatever he wants to me. I'm in, I'm in a really bad position. So first thing is when I see Dave go back to punch, that's when I'm gonna bridge with my hips, 
and raise him up and put his hands on the mat. From here, I'm gonna wrap my arms around Dave, pulling my weight down on him, making it hard for him to take his hands off the mat. And that allows me to scoop my body up, and work closer and closer to where our heads are in the same line. From here, again, I'm still keeping my weight on Dave, so he can't take a hand out and punch me. He goes to take an arm out to punch me. He can't balance. From here, I'm gonna trap an arm, reach, and I'm gonna pull it to my chest here. From here, I'm gonna trap it. I'm gonna trap his foot on that same leg by pinning it as close to my butt as I can. I'm gonna bring my other foot in line with my foot so I can bridge high. If I leave my feet way up here, I can only bridge with one leg. So I'm gonna bring my feet as close to my butt as I can. That way I can bridge and roll. And now I'm on top. I'm gonna look to catch this arm so Dave can't punch you with this arm. I'm gonna swim this arm in, control this one, control the situation. So again, now I can't be, he can't strike me. I'm in a safe spot from here. I can work to stand up and get away from the situation. I've got knocked down to the ground and Dave's above me, coming towards me. I want to try and get my feet to his hips as quick as possible to keep him away from me. And uh, like a, a little game we play or drill we do is Dave tries to strike me from this distance. And I'm just using my feet to keep him away. Another thing I can do is find hooks on his legs. So whichever direction he moves, I can move with him and he's carrying my body weight. I'm keeping him away with this foot and I'm using these hooks to move myself with him. So wherever he goes, I can follow. Once I feel safe, or he steps a foot too close to me, I can reach for it, find his hip, hook this leg, and take him down. Nice. And what we're gonna do is what we like to call stand up and base. I'm here, I move this foot, I stand up, I can control this leg. Again, come to knee on belly. Next situation, let's say Dave's on top of me and he's in my guard. What I wanna be aware of is um, we're in a position now where Dave can punch me, he can headbutt me, he can, he can inflict some damage. So in my guard, I'm gonna use my legs to control what happens with Dave's body and posture. If he wants to bring his body in, I'm gonna use my hips to keep him away if he wants to try and headbutt me. So um, if I want to bring him to me, I'm gonna use my legs to pull him in, to push him away. So um, that's the hardest thing I think for people to learn. At the first is we do everything with our hands and our arms, but our legs are our most powerful. Uh, piece of our body. So uh, again, Dave tries to headbutt me. I can keep him away with my hips and my legs so he can't headbutt me. When I want to bring him to me, I can use my legs to bring him to me. Um, so if I'm in this situation, uh, self-defense, I'm gonna look to bring Dave in. I'm gonna try and overwrap his head and get an overwrap on his arm here. So now he's in a position where he can't punch me. I've taken away his arm. He can't punch me in this side. He has no control over it. If he does try and punch me that, with that arm, I can block it, bring my shin in. Now I've got control of this arm here. Um, again, stopping him from striking me. And from here I can start doing a lot of things. The more Dave opens up and tries to punch me, the easier it gets for me to defend myself and to start putting him into bad positions. He takes his arm back. I can turn and put him in a triangle choke. Again, I've got control of him. He can't strike me. I've got this arm free to block this punch. I can start attacking a choke. I can start attacking his arm, putting him in a bad position, at all while keeping myself safe. My body. Self-defense guru now, man. Look at you. <laughs> That's crazy how much that hip, the old hip thrust. Man, you, you got a lot of practice Don't practice the hip, hip thrust, thrust tonight. <laughs> you feeling good about it all, Cam? Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling how out of shape my body is. Yeah. That's that'll That's depressing. That'll do it. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate the the tips. All the preppers out there appreciate the tips too. They really do. Anything else you want to say at this point? Huh? Uh, cardio. Cardio. Number Still one. number one. Still number one. All right. All right, Cam. Give us a rundown on how you felt with just that first roll, you know? No, I, I felt like I had some strength in the beginning part mm -hmm. to where I'm like, I can use power, I can use... You know, mm -hmm. try and be quick about it. Yeah, because you, I mean, you had weight on him, right? You had, what, 30 pounds? Yeah, and that lasted like 20 seconds. Yeah. 
And as soon as I was out of breath, like I couldn't do anything after that. Like even when I'd tap out and start over, I didn't have any any strength. So he obviously used technique and used little energy so he wasn't winded. So yeah. it's like he could just keep doing power moves and I mean Yeah. I don't know. It's just cardio mixed with if if you know what you're doing, you're obviously mm -hmm. not gonna yeah, and it, expend a lot of energy doing it. And I think the reason we wanted to do that is just like you just never know. Like a little 140 pound guy, you're like, oh, what's he gonna do, yeah, right? Yeah. And so I think that's kind of the reason we kind well, of showed even, that. Yeah, even knowing less about mm -hmm. any kind of fighting, and you're in a panicking like, yeah. mood, you're gonna you're gonna be exhausted even faster. Yeah. Know? But yeah, I was winded and I was toast after that. For well, sure. I was toast to begin with, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I felt like I had something, like some maybe some strength, but mm -hmm. it was gone immediately. So. Obviously, you need some cardio, yeah, and you need to know what you're doing because if you don't, yep. you're going to waste too much energy for sure. And then I think you know the first thing he showed us, the technique number one is avoiding the fight. Don't <laughs> there's no reason to do it, right? Right. You don't know who you're going to be dealing with. And then if you have to, you know, follow those other you know steps and those other that other advice he gave us because it was good stuff. I mean, it's really it really simple. was, yeah. It's, it's crazy stuff, just the pa like how you can use body mechanics mm -hmm. to take people down. Exactly. Pretty so, cool. Yeah, we, got, we want to thank Chris and Dave at Triad Jiu Jitsu here in Vernal, Utah, because they were gracious enough to let us come roll around on the mats for a minute and teach us some stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. All right. I had a little bit of a heart attack. That's right. All right, stay survived.